These reports that the president is not anywhere near conceding at this point, are they true? And do they exist? Do they hold up still tonight? Well, Martha, that's not something that we're thinking about right at the moment. Right now, we're thinking about making sure that all of the legal ballots have been counted for 2020 and the illegal ballots have not been counted. And I think there's been a lot of talk about President Trump, but I think it's important for folks watching at home to realize how the elections have been changed in this year and how this isn't just about President Trump. This is about the Senate races coming up in Georgia and all elections going forward. For those 71 million people who voted for President Trump last week, they want to know that this election was decided fairly and squarely. As we go state by state, they want to make sure the tabulations were right, that there weren't dead people, for example, voting, that there weren't other illegalities that were happening. And let's just pause for a moment. Let's make sure we get the counting right before we go and press forward. But there also needs to be a serious conversation, Martha, about how Democrats have changed the entire nature of voting with these mass mail uh, ballots. So, you know, I, I think everybody should be able to agree on one thing. One dead person who votes in the United States is one too many. That is the breach of the social contract that we all commit to. And we want fair elections. So this idea that it's okay around the edges, oh, this stuff happens, it goes on here and there. We really need to reexamine that and we need to think about how, how important this process is. And if we can't get it right and dead people are voting and people who live in other places are voting. And I'm not talking about, you know, people who are in college or military ballots, any of that. I'm talking about if that turns out to be the case, I think an examination of this is 100 percent warranted. Um, however, you know, when you look at these vote differentials at this point um, in Nevada, Joe Biden's up by 36,000 in Pennsylvania, up by 45,000. Do you believe tonight, Jason, that any of these reevaluations will yield a different outcome in either of those states? I believe that as we reevaluate and go through, whether it's in the recount process or as we go through the constitutionality of some of the elections that were held at the state level, that absolutely some of these states could change. And before they're certified, we need to make sure that we're certifying the correct winner. So let me go and take a little bit of a, a round robin to make sure we understand the dynamics here. So in Georgia, we are most likely headed toward a mandatory recount. Uh, this election is very close. Uh, I do believe that especially since Georgia Georgia allowed ballot harvesting this go around, and we already have examples of dead folks voting. I mean, I'm taking a, a look here at here's Willie's Moss, uh, for one example, uh, who died a week before ballots went out this year. Also taking a look at Deborah Jean Christensen, who allegedly voted. Uh, and what's unique about <clears throat> Ms. Christensen, even though she passed away, um, is that she didn't actually even her someone used her identity to register to vote just this year, even though she had passed away previously. How do you know that? How do you Martha, know that happened? That's because because we've pulled the the SSDI data. We've also bounced that up against the voter file, and we've actually pulled their actual obituaries. And so we've gone and compared that. I have examples in Pennsylvania. I have examples in all states all across the country of people who have died, but yet someone went and used their identity mm -hmm. to vote. And so as we talk about ballot harvesting, very specific to the state of Georgia. They've done it a lot of other states. There are some real concerns that, that are coming up. And you referenced it earlier when you said there shouldn't be a single example of someone who has died for someone to use their identity to go and vote. And as we're finding all of these examples, this is really egregious.